Hello, today we're working on how to calculate CAGR or compounded annual growth rate if we're given portfolio balances or in the next problem if we're given investment returns. So let's get started. What we have is an initial investment of a thousand and it went up and down up to 1700. So what we want to do is calculate what is our return and it's an annualized return. So let's calculate the annual return for each year and then we'll annualize it with the compounded annual growth rate formula. So here's what we do. We take the ending balance of 900 minus the 1,000. So we have a loss. This would give us a negative $100 loss. But then we divide it by the beginning balance of 1,000. And what we'll have is we have a 10% loss for the year. We can do the same thing each year. So what we'll have is some gains, some losses each year. So what is our annualized return or what's our compounded annual growth rate? Well, that's important to know. We can compare it with other investments and so on. So let's do that. So our Kager formula, simple formula, is future value divided by the present value to the exponent 1 over n minus 1. So let's just do the math on it. There's an easier way we'll do it in just a second. But here's our formula if you want to do it by hand. So 1700 divided by the 1000, so the future value divided by the present value. That will give us a $700 return and, and as a percentage. So we need to do it to the exponent, so that's the caret symbol over the number 6, and to the 1 -fifth power. All that minus 1. So what's our annualized return, our compounded annual growth rate? It's something like 11.2%. Now, in none of those years do we have 11.2%, but what we have is this is the, the compounded annual growth rate for all those years. Now, a quicker way to do it is the RRI function. So we can just start with an equal sign, RRI, start with a parentheses, and it says, hey, the number of periods, I'm going to type that in to be 5, and the present value is 1,000, and the future value is 1,700. We should get the same answer, so 11.2%. Now, let's check our work. Now, what is compounded annual growth rate, or CAGR? It's the the rate required to grow the beginning, 1,000, to the end, 1,700. Now, it assumes the same amount each year. It's as if we took these rates and put in 11.2, 11.2, 11.2 for every year. So let's check our work here. So here's our formula. Future value equals the present value. So we're going to take the present value times... 1 plus i, so 1 plus the compounded annual growth rate, the 11.2%, close the parentheses, and then we're going to do it to the exponent of the fifth power. So to the fifth power. Now, so we've grown the 1,000 to the 1,700, so we know that is the rate required to grow it, so that's the compounded annual growth rate, or that's CAGR. Now, sometimes you're given a problem, let's look at this next one, where you have annualized, annual returns and you want to annualize it into one single number to compare. How well did we do? Well, there's some, this is actual returns from an S&P 500 fund for the Vanguard 500. Now, as I'm recording this, in 2022, the market's down 22%. So, this is, um, it's always fluctuating, always going up, always going down. So that's just the way it works. So if we did it at the end of 2022, it's going to be a different answer. So let's pretend, let's just make up a number here. Let's make up a number like $10,000. So I'm going to put that here. That was our original investment. So let's figure out the account value each year. So we're going to take the future value. We're going to take the 10000 the present value, times... 1 plus the interest rate that's given. So what if we had 10000 and it grew by almost 2%? Well, we receive almost $200 extra. Dollars. So 1.97 is $197. So then we can copy this all the way down. So if we got all these returns, and these are actual returns over uh, 11 years, actual returns. So if you put in 10,000 and you didn't touch it, then you had 46,520 and now in 2022 you're down, you know, like 
So you could do, what is the average return? Now this is wrong, but I'm, I'm doing it so you can see, hey, this is gonna be the wrong way of doing it. So the average return, 15.62, that's not the way we show this. So let's go back and do our compounded annual growth rate formula. It's gonna be our ending minus the beginning to the exponent one divided by 11, and then the whole thing minus one. And so we get the wrong number. So we need to divide, sorry. So 15% is our compounded annual growth rate. We did it just a minute ago. Uh, RRI is a little bit quicker, so let's do RRI, let's compare. RRI is gonna be 11 years is the number of periods. Our present value is 10,000 and our future value is 46,000. Let's close my parentheses. So here we can do compound and annual growth rate in a quick way and now you know how to do it. If you want to see more examples, I've got some more link below that has more information on how to calculate Kager and I have six different ways you can calculate Kager if you get that excited about Kager. Hey, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.